we're back again. We're um, on the third drawer this time. And uh, for those of y'all who are new, my name is Jenna and I'm with Ruby Vintage. And I have purchased this flat file cabinet with all of its contents and, and I have not gone through it. So, I, I, so all of this uh, is new to me. I'm seeing it for the first time, just like you are. So let's get started. The first thing we have is Oh, okay. Just trying to figure out how it went. Service station supplies quality replacement part. Okay, so it's an old magazine that is falling apart, literally, um, that has, that sells uh, automobile parts. And so it's got, I don't know if y'all can see this. Different tools. Here's the front of it that keeps coming up. Let's see if I can do that. Here's the front of it. Let's see if it has a date anywhere. Here's the back of it. And it's in San Francisco, Los Angeles. I do not see any sort of a date on it. Sorry, I know. I'm not really, so I don't see a date on it. Also in that bag was this, Catalog of Publications, The Automobile. Um, so it's just a magazine of that word I'm looking for advertisements and stuff oh and you can buy yeah so that's the front of that this is the back uh, this says August 15th 1907 I'm gonna put this back in its plastic The greatest in country entertainment, the tops in talent. Um, I don't think this is very old. Yeah, April, April 1981. Um, I guess it is a, these the plates that all of these are gonna be but yeah, I do I do recognize um, Jerry Clower, Bill Anderson, Don Gibson. So there we go. Then we have a poster board for Slick Alibi. Not, this isn't very old, 1997, Boondocks Country. Seems like we've already seen something for Boondocks. It's just a flyer. Another one for Boondocks. This is for Valentine's, Valentine's Party and Dance. Um... Just gonna see it doesn't have so there's that full moon blues band appearing at the boondock so I, I, I don't know he's all of this was done in Texas I don't recall a place called boondocks um, Mount Vernon Chesapeake exit. So I'm not sure. Okay. 
Here is a signed, every one of them has, well, yeah, I think every one has signed, jackpot. And it's got all their signatures. I don't know them. Um, I don't know these people either. It's a picture, printed picture, like a, like maybe it was, doesn't feel like a real picture, like maybe, maybe it was mass printed or something. Um, Southern Breeze Band. I wonder if this was the same. No, I don't think it's the same people. And none of these have, um, here's more of the same flyers for Boondocks New Year's Eve party that we've looked at. Happy Halloween from Boondocks. Thunder River. What's the name of that band? Becky Baker. This is a... I don't know, it doesn't have a date, but it says her name is Becky Baker. There she is. Another flyer for Boondocks Halloween. Halloween flyer. Um, another signed picture of the same men, Jackpot. Um, I'm not even sure if that's their name. Here's Outrider. These are a bunch of um, pictures of bands that I've never heard of. Um, a piece of newspaper. You see that? Um, two boondocks from Something Willie. It's signed. Is that Willie Nelson? Maybe when he was younger, it looks a lot like him. But it's a signed autograph. But what's that word? Something Willie. Hmm. Hank Thompson. There's a lot of stuff pushed back here. Um. This is for the Ramona pageant. It's a newspaper clipping. And I don't see a date on that. Another Ramona Lovers at Shrine newspaper clipping. Here's an old, the student life. January 27, 1926. Claremont, California. Let's see if you can use that. And it's just advertisements and then um, taxonomist visits campus for study just different information judge to lecture at junior republic here's a picture of
Emilio. Um, it looks like it is not written, written. It's probably written in Spanish, actually. It's August 1959. There's this picture, and there is what is written. I don't know if you can see it well enough to know what it says. Another clipping, newspaper clipping. Okay, April 24th, 1966. Acting is a family affair. And this is a 30 ninth, 39th Ramona, Ramona pageant. So, here are the pictures. Southern Green. Another band. Another Halloween advertisement at Boondocks Country. Official program, Buffalo Bills Wild West. July 29th through August 27th, 1972. Okay, so it's some sort of a program for a maybe the theater because it has an intermission so here's the front of it and here is it's a reenactment the program and all the different things and here's the back Hey Lamont, I found a picture of, yeah. I think it's Willie Nelson. Yeah. Did you see it? Adam, was it yeah. Yeah. I was going to see if you thought it was Willie Nelson. Well, uh, Adam said it was one in there. I don't know what door he saw it in there. Oh, well, so my brother saw a picture of Willie Nelson in here. So, if you that, of course I can't find it now. I, I can't find it now to show it to him. Um, but... My brother, Adam, said he saw a picture of Willie Nelson. It's signed. But it says something and then Willie. And I, I couldn't I couldn't make out what that was. 1980 calendar scenes of the West. With, oh, okay, it all came up with. Um, let's see. This is a calendar. I was gonna see if it had a front. Yeah, here it is. It's kind of tore on the front. I was trying to see. I don't, I'm not sure what year that is. But it's got different pictures of 19, the 19, the 1895 house, end of the line, horse-drawn trolley. Oh, here we have another sign. Oh, this is Becky Baker, and she has signed it. Much love for friends, Becky Baker. And it also says, oh, I can't make up those. I can't, I can't make up what that writing is, what it says at the top. I'm trying to get it where you can see it with this ring line. I may have to turn the ring line off. Um, oh. You can make it out. There we go. There's where it says Becky Baker. Here is a Kodak picture of a fella. Doesn't, doesn't have his name or anything, so I have no idea who he is. Boondocks, Mount Vernon, uh, live music, another flyer for them. Then we have, okay, we have the World and the World Book Encyclopedia Monthly Bulletin. 
the story of the month. We have it for October, December, March, November, June, May, April, maybe for the whole year, um, July, August. I was trying to see if I saw a year in here. Oh, but it tells you all of all like what to look out, what to look for out of doors, things to do. Mary Ellen's trip around the world. Building character, our friendly tree. So it tells about everything. So we have a whole stack of those. Have another calendar. Let's see if I can find the front of it. There's the back of it. Maybe this is the front of it. The American album. Milkman's Morning. There's June, the banking bill, the new banking bill. Westbound Mail. I don't know what year that is. Maybe it'll say on the back. No, I don't see anything. Another calendar, Artist of America appointment calendar. Oh, 1990. Oh, so 1990. That's not, that's not too old. I wonder if that says on the bottom of these. No. Nope. Uh, this one. Eliminated boondocks. The Outriders. Another poster. Okay, here we have, oh, this is cute. Jasper, Missouri, January 1936 calendar. So here's the picture. Here's the top and the picture. And then here's the calendar. And it looks to be the whole calendar there. That's nice. That's really cute. That's still in pretty good condition. Um, Eagle Dancer, it looks like from the top of a calendar. It's just up on poster board. Um, Roger Blizzard Band. And there's Roger. Another cardboard. It says he's written 1967 on it, but it's just a cardboard picture of some Indian. Piece of plastic. We have a drawing. 84, but I, I can't make out the... There's the name. Another drawing says 84. Of a little boy. Another drawing. Look Magazine. See Hollywood Brides War Propaganda Stunt Girl. 10 cents, February 1st, 1938. There's the date. Here's the top of it. On the back, there's a big picture of Chesterfield cigarettes.
her, oh, look at this picture. It says her bathing suit was too scanty. When an Ohio man asked his wife to wear more in the water, she said no other person had criticized her suit and that she had no intention of burdening herself with additional clothing. A Los Angeles wife obtained a divorce because her husband wouldn't let the ice man come into the house. <laughs> she took the dogs to bed with her. He didn't mind the other nine which she left outside, but the two in bed sent a New Jersey husband to court for a divorce. One police dog in bed was too many for another husband in Florence, Arizona. On the other hand, when given the choice of his wife or a greyhound, a London man kept the greyhound. And that's the picture for that. <laughs> oh my. This lady was thrown from a speeding car. This man was attacked by a lion. Oh my. War propaganda, propaganda exposed will be continued in next issue of Look. Prisoners were mistreated on both sides. That's interesting. Um, 1987 Country Roads Calendar featuring paintings by John Z. King. And it is still in its little sleeve. Nineteen eighty-seven. I say I like. I, so I was ten years old. So that's cute, and this is in really good condition because it's been in its in the sleeve. We've got lots of loose paper here. Christian Endeavor Societies forward January 4th, 1919. It's just half a page, though. It's not, it's not folded. It's just half a page. This, what was that? This is December 28th, 1918, and it's also... Just half a page with the Christian Endeavor Society. Forward, a stampede of 66, January 4th, 1919. Unfortunately, it's all just, okay, this one's actually folded. Oh no, it's not, it's still. Dear Phyllis, January 4th, 1919 forward. The children's friend. Wow, this is really in rough shape. August 7th, 1880. Let me see if I can give you a close, close up of this. Okay, I think the name, okay, the name of the magazine or, or paper is called Forward. And here's another, another one, September 28, 1918. Um, January 11, 1919 for Phyllis. And then finally, there are some that are completely together still. 
So here is what the whole magazine looks like, or paper. And this is Philadelphia, October 12th, 1918. And it's just, oh, okay. So that's one. And then here's the October, 19, October 26, November, all of these. Okay, so all of these are forward magazines from the 1918. And they're... That's what the rest of these are, are half parts of the magazines, but they're all in 1918. Cowboy Artist Calendar. Jane, okay, this is 1990. Pictures of horses and such. Um, March 19, out of, well, out our way, March 1970. So that's not a whole calendar. Chevrolet for her personal car. September 1920, looks like 27. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Flip these. Here's Nat, the Saturday Evening Post. No longer do your no no longer deny yourself a Nash. <coughs> January 28, 1933. <coughs> Few dollars more than Lois Price Cars. She's a beauty, the hit of the show. Saturday Evening Post. I don't see a date on this one. Take off refreshed. The pause that refresh, refreshes five cents. That's a Coca Cola advertisement. And then on the back, it has an advertisement for cool cigarettes. Smokers discover it's a swell idea. For real lasting peppermint flavor, Wrigley's Double Mint Chewing Gum. Uh, McCall's Magazine, September 1927. And on the back, it has an advertisement for Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Here we have a pictorial review of March 1920. Fox Entertainments. Okay, so this looks to be, well, the front of the Household Magazine, 19, September 1932, five cents. The Dignified Beggar Man, a quaint and delightful love story. And on the back, this is a husband getting rid of dandruff. Hmm. Oh, and it 
it's Listerine. That's funny. Listerine achieves amazing results in treating loose dandruff and overcoming scalp inflammations. Listerine, the safe antiseptic, relieves itching, burning scalp. And now we use Listerine for our mouths. Well, I want so. I wonder if Listerine came out originally as scalp care, like you know, for dandruff and stuff. That's interesting. Okay, the fashion department. And then on the back, despite occasional touches of drapery, the silhouette is slim. Drawings by C.H. Twelve Trees. That's cute. It's Valentine's. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. That is really cute. The Hidden Shame. Murder will, murder will out, but still, it's never too late to mend. Valentine's for the whole family. Who's who in women's war work? Light for Model 90. Oh, it's a car. Overland. Model 90, $795. And on the back, dainty embroidered frocks and bonnets for the little maid. We have a picture, Portrait of an Old Man by Fred Brown. Season's greetings. Oh, look at this. It's a little name tag, like, you know, for your presents. Little bear. Um, Gamble store. Auto Farm Supplies Appliances, phone number 191W, Warland, Wyoming. Oh, the timetable for canning vegetables, the homemaker's calendar. Okay, this is year 1945. So it has, um, different recipes at the top of it. And then at the back, it has timetable for roasting meat and poultry, timetable for boiling, timetable for boiling ham. Making the most out of vegetables is a must. It's interesting and that's in pretty good condition. And it kind of folds up like this. Oh, well, so I thought. Folds up like this. That's cute. The News Leader, Springfield, the News Leader View. Eunice, oh, a guide to TV for the Ozarks. So this is Missouri for the week of March 14th through the 20th. It's got Mama's Family on it. Well, actually, that's, that's not Mama's Family. It's not called Mama's Family. Um, 
when it's when Eunice and all them, or is it? Um, what was that called? The Carol Burnett show, maybe. Anyway. A, tells you what station everything's on. TV Guide. That's cool. That's really cool. I actually fell down the rabbit hole of watching old um, Carol Burnett shows. Not long ago, as a matter of fact, on, off YouTube. And some of them are hilarious. So here we have the High Commissioner. This dude, I know him. Well, not personally. 1968. Um, I know him. I don't. I can't think of his name right, right this minute. But he's the lead. He's the uh, captain on The Sound of Music. Do you know what his name was? I was asking. I was asking my husband. I wasn't asking y'all. But y'all might know his name. But I recognize him. Um, what's this? The Last Valley. Copyright 1970. It looks like, like reenactments of... ABC Pictures Corporation for Vance. So it's it's got to be movies. It needs to have to be pictures from movies. It's another one. The Spice of Life. And the Literary Digest on the screen. Oh, the Literary Digest. April 20th, 1935. That looks like Babe Ruth to me. The Cheyenne Social Club. The National Generational Pictures presents the Cheyenne Social Club. A, a shootout. The Family Circle, September 17th, 1943. Joan Caulfield, Nelson Eddy, and Susanna Foster. Pyrex, where we'll see you through. So there's an advertisement. You can get Pyrex for 75 cents. Jiffy Lou Butterscotch Pudding. Protect my growth. I'm a wartime child. I need the vitality element stored in natural oatmeal. It's a Quaker Oats advertisement. Pillsbury Party Point Savers. It's a recipe. That's cool. Story, story time. Super Oxyacetylene Machine Company, May 1st, 1918. And on the back, it has portable electric grinders uh, that you could purchase. What do we have in here? So we have an old. It says Western Publication, Tree West. In memory of our beloved friend and neighbor, Eva Tubb, T-U-B-B. -B. 
So there's the picture. And then behind it, it had this. 1872 Marion McGinty, 1961. The drawing above was copyrighted from a photograph made in 1897. The original drawings hangs in the bunkhouse at Stanford, Texas, Eva Tubb. So there it goes like this. Master Pictures Company. I guess I should, there's more than one thing in here. What's in here? Jane Russell Lewis Hayward, The Naughty Widow. That's interesting. Um... I cover Big Town Medallion Pictures. You can order the trailer from National Screen Service. Hometown Girl, Plot of a Teenager. It's your daughter's right to know and your duty to tell her. I hope... I hope my girl marries before she has a baby. It could be your sister. Dr. Christian has the honor of being among the first 12 radio shows on radio. It's an advertisement. September 12th, 1946. Oh, one more. Oh, this is the hometown girl. It's more of the hometown girl. Don't get pregnant before you have a before you're married, don't have a baby. I hope my daughter doesn't have a baby before she's married. That was the plot of the times. Plot of a teenager. Mad youth. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. Oh, posters. Another one for mad youth. Another one for mad youth. This lady looks like she's the one that played on um, Gone with the Wind. But I could be wrong. Oh, looky here. We've got Marilyn Monroe. When she was young. Look how young she is. She's really young. So there's one. We actually have three of the same poster. This. Okay, this is a Marilyn. She's there. It's on um, ten. There she is I was making sure she had clothes on before I showed y'all um, Just I'm sure a calendar went on this Springfield, Missouri. Oh, you guys, this is cute. 
Look at that picture of the little girl and her dog. Oh, this light is killing me. I'm gonna take it off so y'all turn it off so y'all can see it. Look, isn't that cute? She's giving her dog a bath. And at the top it says Springfield Southwest Livestock Commission Company. And here's another one. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe they didn't have um, calendars on it because these are big pictures. So we got a boy with his collies. A girl with her little dog and flowers. And I don't see a place where it says the year. Daisy May. I think we just saw this one. Another calendar presenting a selection of paintings by C.M. Russell. This is 1971. So it's got um, Southwestern pictures on it. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah. Um, and it's got two months on each page. Another calendar, somebody really used this calendar, uh, January 1974. Looks like only, only January was written on. Got Indian family. Caravan, Santa Fe, Santa Fe Trail. Here is another calendar. I'm trying to see if it has the date. I don't think it's very, I don't think it's too, too old because of the phone number. What? 1978 is right in the middle between January and February. Oh, uh, yeah, 1978. So 42 years old. Forty-two years old. Yeah. See, that does not sound old to me because I was born in 1977, and I'm not old, so that's not old. That's that's what I say. So that's all. That was that's all the contents of drawer three, and I was actually when I pulled it out, I thought, oh, there's not gonna be much stuff in there, but it turned out to be quite a bit. Um, as always. Uh, the contents of this drawer and the other two drawers that we've gone through also um, are available. You have to purchase the whole drawer, everything that's in it. Um, I am going to, I'm going to include everything in this pile. I am going to take one of the three Marilyn Monroe posters out. So you'll only get two Marilyn Monroe posters if you want to purchase um, what is in this drawer, everything that I just showed you, just send me an email. It's on our YouTube station, our channel, and um, just send me an email and what you want to pay for it, and I'll tell you yes or no, and we can we can haggle out the price, but it, I'm not, um, just so you know, I'm not expecting a whole lot. And um, if you haven't seen the other two that we've done so far, check them out. And we still got quite a few drawers to go. So stay tuned for uh, as we go through each drawer and figure out what we have here. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. And hopefully I'm going to try to get through this within the next two weeks. So maybe by the end we'll have found some real, real gems. Um, so we'll see you next time.